So I just had one of my offers accepted. I've been searching for two months, two and a half months. I've been looking at m maybe more than 15 properties, going to different areas to find the right property, which gives you the right ROI. And this is in a hot market where I was getting outbidded on many properties. There's a lot of Ukrainians pushing the prices up as they are qualifying for loans. There's the little rumble about the new government loan program, which is going to bring the interest rates down by quite a bit. So that's affecting the market, right? They are promising around 2% official interest rate, and then you have to put on the bank's interest rate. So overall, it's going to be around 5, which is very different from today's 9 or 10%. But we don't really know um, how or who will qualify for this. I've been underwriting probably more than 50 deals now, looking in different areas such as Vola, Praga Poudnie, Ochota, Shrod Meshe, uh, Makotov. Yeah, these are the areas that I'm looking for. Even after making all these offers, None of them really stuck and many owners are pulling back their offers and they're not selling. And of course, you could argue that these are not motivated sellers anyways. So I'll explain the analysis of this property and the numbers later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. So where is it? So this is in Ochota. Went to the location. I'm going to film it for you guys. The location of this property is quite well. I would say it's a B area, friendly and majority Polish neighborhood. You can get to the main areas where our tenant base will be, which is close to the center. There's gonna be more than 200,000 daily commuters that want to get to the center. And then you have Mordor, which is funny enough named after J.R.R. Tolkien's book. It's the Middle Earth or something like that, where the evil master lives because so this area was like very stressful to work at and lots of ambitious high energy people are getting overworked, overworked, whatever that means. And yeah, so from from this property to to Mordor, probably around 20 minutes with public transportation, I would say by Uber or car, it would be around 10 minutes. So it's amazing for those people to just get to work fast and get back home. And I'll tell you about the strategy that we're going to use exactly for this property very soon. And then you have the university, the medical university, very close by. From what I've seen, there's around 10,000 students studying at this medical university, which is a good tenant base for me. Uh, usually students would like to be on the lower end of the pricing, but there's also around 3,000 employees for this hospital, medical hospital, university. And I would say it takes around 15 minutes to walk to this hospital. So it's prime location. This location, you have parks around, three parks, and you also have shopping malls. And basically you have the Blue City shopping mall, probably around 20 minutes far out. Then you have, then you have the Zlota Tarasi and the center around 25 minutes away by public transportation and you also have the Westfield Mokotov um, shopping mall which is also not too far away. We're gonna have a few tenant bases for this property and they're all good but I won't forget one last tenant base which might be one of the strongest one for this property and that's the airport workers. There's probably around 10 to 15 thousand people that work in the airport, Chopin airport, the main airport of Warsaw and that's in Vlochi, and it's, it's probably around 15 to 20 minutes by bus also to this airport. So anyone who's working at this airport, it's going to be very easy for them to get around. So that's the location. So what happened was I saw this announcement and it looked like an old building, Peona Wajnosh, which means full ownership. I mean, these are legal stuff. I don't know exactly the difference differences. All I know is that the land is regulated after the communism era, which means that it's been divided, regulated. Uregulovani grunt, that's what they call it. When it's separated, the people have the ownership of that land after the communism era. 
At this point, Pona Washnosh, which means full ownership, is what we're aiming for. Usually it's easier to sell and easier to renovate. Not easier, but less legal problems down the road and more changes that you can do. So another form of ownership is Spudzielnik Washnosh or something like this. Spudzielcze Własnościowe. Spudzielcze Własnościowe. Spudzielcze Własnościowe. And what you want to look out for is that the land is also regulated there. So the flat is around 49 square meters. It has a great plan for dividing into two different micro studios. The building is quite old. This building is three floors. And what I like about this is that it's on the ground floor, but it has some greenery, some trees, some flowers and some bushes. So it's not easily visible inside from outside to inside the apartment. So you have some sense of privacy there. What is also important for me personally, if I'm renting to different people and even renting myself, I would not like to live on the fourth floor without elevator. Especially in the summer, you're going to be sweating just to get in and outside your apartment. But that's my opinion, right? So there are students who would like to pay a little less or they wouldn't mind anyways, as long as you're doing a great renovation inside to pay that much extra and to live on the fourth floor. But this is on the ground floor, so I like that, as long as it has some privacy, right? So this apartment is two-sided, so it gets light from two different sides. I think it's west and east, if I'm not mistaken. The electrical system is old, the plumbing is old. Furniture, I asked them to throw everything out. It's not the best. And I want to really make it like a new, beautiful flat. The heaters, the yeah, the heaters are old, the windows are quite new, and if the windows are wooden, you have to expect to change them out. These are not wooden. So, so you might be asking, why now? And I can tell you my opinion is that, so there are lots of new jobs coming into Poland from abroad, and these new jobs are paying quite well. There's a sizable expat community that's already living here, including me. These expats are not necessarily coming here to earn more money, but already have a good amount of income to live here because of the great cost of living. And look, the great cost of living, quite affordable prices for buying properties, for being in the EU, I mean, go one country up or down to Sweden or Germany, and you're paying way more in taxes as an expat or even a normal employee. It has these things going for it, and Warsaw is still growing. So if you have not already, join our Facebook group, because I'm already planning to make monthly real estate meetups for English-speaking real estate investors in Warsaw and Poland. And we can get to know each other, talk about Warsaw and real estate, and grow our portfolios and reach our financial freedoms. So why buy now? I'm seeing the prices go up. As I said, the market is way hotter than I ever imagined. I mean, when the interest rates are hiking up that much, I would expect the prices to drop. But that's not happening. For some reasons, it's not happening. I mean, there's a lot of arguments for this. There's lots of money flowing in into War- Warsaw. The city is expanding. There are new companies starting up here. And, and you still need to remember that Warsaw is the city that most students move to. I mean... It's the biggest student city after Paris. So after the students are finished, they probably want to stay somewhere more affordable and earn quite good money for their degrees. And Warsaw is quite well connected. So from that perspective, anyone who lives anywhere else in Poland feels comfortable moving to Warsaw, earning money and making a family here. There's foreign demand and there's also domestic demand for Warsaw housing. Warsaw is one of the only cities that is growing in population in Poland, which is not true about most 90% of the other cities in Poland. And in Europe overall, I mean, the population is decreasing in Europe uh, and I don't know how much the immigration will help with that. With the new government program that we talked about, There's going to be lots of new 
immigrants like Ukrainians who have legitimate jobs now and who will qualify for this program, probably. So there's a lot of excitement around that. Investors are already calculating the price hike into what they're offering. That is why it's been so hard to get this get this offer accepted. So what's the bottom line? 48.5 square meters. The price originally was around 520,000 zloty. I'll put the dollar price. I'm estimating around 180,000 to 200,000 zloty in renovation costs. So in total, I will be in around 700,000 zloty. From my research, I've been looking on different websites and rental websites and talk to agents. We should be able to get around 2,800 zloty per studio. And that is a good return on investment. And after all costs and expenses, we are probably looking at around 6 to 7% net ROI or ROE, return on equity. Since I'm buying this all cash, ROE and ROI are the same at this point because my equity is 100% cash and the return on that equity, yeah. If we're talking about gross ROI, we're looking at around 9% gross ROI. But there's always costs and maintenance and all that. So this is quite a good deal. I could also flip this for 40,000 zloty profit. Let's say around 30,000 zloty profit. So even if I do do not decide to move further ahead with this renovation, I could just flip this and buy another place if I find a better offer. But it's not finished yet. I should be closing this deal within a month. So as you know, there was a Polish holiday called Majówka. And this was a long weekend, around four or five days of holidays. And people don't work and the government doesn't work. So the sellers are preparing the documents and waiting on the notary to tell the sellers what documents are exactly needed. I remember one person asked me, how long does it take to close in Poland? And usually it's between three to five weeks. I know in USA it can take even longer. But around one month is probably a good guesstimate. So are there any risks and dangers with this property? I would say yes. I did not see any mold. From what I know, that's not a danger right now. I will bring an inspector there very soon to check everything. And this is a very old apartment. Inside, it has not been renovated. It's the electrical system is old. I bet the wiring is not up to standard right now. So we need to bring that up and that's going to cost quite a lot to rewire everything. But it's okay because if I'm renovating this, I'm going to be renovating everything. So that's not an issue. But if you're buying something already renovated, usually the seller, the flipper, gives you two to three years guarantee. But as you know, there's always the risk that everything was not done properly. So the plumbing can be old, can have problems. We need to check that also. There can be bed bug issues, which is not too uncommon in Warsaw. Again, these things should be less of a problem. There are many places that are famous for that. But for now, I have not heard any reports and it should be quite okay. So be careful about buying in buildings that you do not know and you have not seen. Because sometimes the buildings and the management is not very good and... it's not, it's not very fresh, freshly kept, okay? So you would like to always visit or have someone visit on your part. You want to just check that everything is as you want it to be, okay? The common areas, the elevator. I mean, I was recently in one building in uh, Otsika or some street like that in Praga Południe. This building was horrible, man. So always check the building also as that is what your tenants will see. And this building was a prison. I mean, (laughs) it was a communist prison and the windows were weird. They were cut like from outside. There was a, there was a walkway. Like if this is the whole window, there was like a walkway, like a common walkway, like going from the middle of it instead of like at, at the end or at the bottom, it was going from the middle. So you could see people's like feet when they were walking by. It was crazy, man. That's not cool. So always check the buildings and always check the area. 
for this specific building. I checked the outside area. It's quite nice, green. People seem nice, quiet. There's a Biedronka nearby. And there's lots of like small shops and barber shops and uh, small apteca or medicine dispensaries, um, pharmacies. And so I like the location. There's a lot of tenant bases as we talked about. And then we get to the reservation. And you might ask, well, Adrian, why didn't you just outright buy the property? Look, in Poland, from what I see, it takes some time to get all the papers ready, the tax papers to the government for this apartment, the ownership, the donation agreements, which is like if they inherited the property, which these people did. And yeah, so a lot of bureaucracy things need to be solved before you can actually get the apartment. So at this point, there is a risk. Since I paid 5,000 zloty, and the reservation agreement, in simple terms, it means that if they fail to sell it to me, or they don't want to sell it to me, they have to pay me double that amount. Since I already paid them 5,000, I have to earn 5,000. So they have to pay me 10,000. And if I fail to buy this property, then they keep my earnest deposit, right? Since I know this property is undervalued at this point, I cannot see any other property in this area for the same price, for 500000 If they get an offer which is ten to 20000 higher than what I offered, it's worth it for them to break the agreement. From what I see in Poland so far, the culture is quite honest. People don't, don't break their promises or reservation agreements so easily. And they know that I'm serious and I have the cash ready. So I don't see a big chance that they would break it, but you never know. So this might be a fantasy deal after all. So we'll have to wait a few weeks and see, and I'll update you when we actually get the apartment. I'm going to go inside, film it. Honestly, the renovation process is going to be so fun. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. I'm going to bring an architect, a designer, get everything step-by-step planned and show you guys as we get along this process. So I hope you guys learned a few things from this video. By the way, if you haven't already seen my other video where I talk about another area which is up and coming, Praga Południe. Check out this video if you want to learn more about this up and coming area of Warsaw. See you there.